Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you, so welcome back. So this is the electrolyte powder that I got from Kiss My Keto. It is the mixed berry kind. It is delicious. I already had, this is my second one. This tastes absolutely amazing. Like so, so good. So as you can see, it actually um, has all of the minerals that you need to get your electrolyte electrolytes up. The magnesium and sodium, potassium and five calories per one scoop. So highly recommend this, you guys. All right, let me just open it quick. I'll show you the size of the scoop, but the size of the scoop is so tiny and it's going to be perfect. So this is the, the, the little scoop. And also what I like about this is, in here is 90 servings. You only need one scoop. This is going to last me three months. I definitely wanna try to have it every day. I also take my supplements my magnesium and potassium but you guys I feel like you also need to have an electrolyte drink every day I feel like this is going to change the way you feel for sure this electrolyte powder is definitely reasonably priced on the website so they also have a Canadian website and they have an American website for kiss my keto I have it in the description all right I also wanted to give you guys a weigh-in update I'm just going to resort to my phone because I do keep all of my weigh-ins on my phone Last weigh-in that I gave you guys was what I had that big kind of wish on um, that one week. So um, I'll resort to that. So August 13th, I was 147.8. And then the update that I gave you last was August 21st, I went down to 144.2. So that was a huge loss that week. That was over three pounds. I knew my next weigh-in wasn't going to be like amazing or anything and it wasn't i actually gained 0.2 of a pound but so i know that week was kind of like a really off week for me i only had one or two days of the protein sparing modified fast days because what happened that week i want to say oh jimmy and i went out for supper we went out for dinner actually on the friday so i think i had two days that was protein sparing modified fast days and jimmy and i went out for dinner on that friday and i made my meal keto it's really hard to make your meal a protein sparing modified fast meal while eating out. Um, you know, I could have probably just ordered a steak only, but like the steaks are so little. Like, you know what, a six ounce, eight ounce steak is like nothing to me. Like I need double that. I need like a 12 or 14 ounce steak to like make me feel full. I love steak so much. And you know, for 30 bucks you pay for like a six or an eight ounce and it's just, uh, I needed something else so I ended up getting a steak and a Caesar salad. I made my meal keto and I wasn't gonna pass that up We've had this conversation before you guys don't miss out on those little things You know ice cream with your granddaughter or grandson or going out for date night with your husband Just you know You have to live you have to live your life as well, too So I knew that I wasn't gonna have a huge weight loss, but on September 4th my weigh-in was 143.2 so i had a 1.2 pound loss this last week and i was pretty much straight to my macros and back to you know normal week right um so i'm pretty happy about that i i feel like it, i feel leaner and i feel like i have much more energy and like i say always like i feel like my keto days is so much more rewarding and not so boring anymore um it's just making it really, really easy. Of course, when you're seeing weight loss on the scale, it's really motivating, but make sure that you take an account on how you're feeling as well too. I have been feeling absolutely amazing. I feel leaner and my stomach, you know, with the no dairy, like I had mentioned with the protein sparing modified fast days, I think is making a difference. So definitely go on how you guys are feeling. So that is, I guess a two week update, like time has been going by so fast, but I will make sure that I keep up with my updates for you, hopefully every week that I can work them into a video. I have a few exciting things to share with you actually today. So um, I'm going to be sharing that recipe with you um, that I started making. I made that nine by nine protein spurring modified fast crust 
and the recipe turned out fairly good so I'm going to be sharing that recipe with you in this video and it tastes so good. So I had bought that chayote and for grocery shopping and I utilized it in an apple crisp recipe. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I have that coming up later on in the video that you'll see how I make that. Very, very low in calories and overall macros and you will be able to have it on your protein sparing modified fast days or your keto days. You can make this recipe non-dairy as well too. So I've had a few people comment about um, protein sparing modified fast days and that you're not supposed to have dairy on those days. I have been doing that pretty religiously. There's been a few things here and there, but I'm not a dairy person anyways. I actually was allergic to all dairy growing up. And I think even kind of going into my adulthood, it still affects me and definitely causes me bloat and stomach issues. Um, and even my allergies kind of flare up, it seems to sometimes with dairy. So I tend to stay away from dairy other than cheese. Cheese is like a downfall for me, but I don't drink milk or yogurt or any of that. I've just never been a fan, period. Um, um, but definitely if you're having your protein sparing modified fast days make sure that they are dairy free you will get better results um, and that's what Maria Emmerich suggests as well too on her website she's the one that created all of these wonderful bread recipes um, so highly recommend you guys do you some people have still had dairy just while they're getting into the protein sparing modified fasting and you know, everybody's still learning. So everybody's kind of at different stages and they're going to be doing this their own way. Just like every diet, even keto. Nobody does keto the exact same way. So just make sure you do what works for you, all right? Um, another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is we ended up getting a smoker. So today we are going to be smoking an elk roast, some elk sausage, and I'm not sure about the elk steaks, but I have elk steaks out too. But Jimmy is just setting it up. We had gone into town to get one of his testing done. So today's test was uh, ultrasound on his heart. If you would have watched my last video, we went to emergency because Jimmy has been having chest pain and he's not sure if he pulled something or if it in fact is something with his heart. But either way, we are getting it checked out. So we went and did that this morning and then next week he has his stress test appointment. But we are taking it easy this weekend and we decided that we would try the smoker out on the elk before we started on the ham and the bacon. So let me show you All that. Right, so this is our smoker that we got. We ended up getting a used smoker. Um, we paid, I think it was $180 for this smoker and it is a big smoker. We are very, very happy with it. Um, if you guys know anything about smokers, buying, buying brand new is very, very expensive. Like we've seen some, that are over $2,000. <laughs> so we definitely wanted to use one um, just to see if we are liking it. Jimmy left the lid up again, I'll show them the roast. So we have the elk roast on there right now. We are gonna put that on first because obviously it needs to cook the longest. And then we will put on the sausages and are we gonna put the steaks on there too? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put the steaks on there as well too. So we will keep you guys posted. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. We are gonna get our meat sweats on the go. <laughs> I don't know, Jimmy has been making me laugh in the last four days. I have never laughed so hard to be honest. He always has a good sense of humor and you would never know that he's, he's in pain ever, ever. But um, we're gonna get to the bottom of it, and what are you gonna do this weekend, Jimmy? What did your doctor, AKA your wife, tell you what to do? Don't do any heavy lifting. Right, and get some rest. Anything Is else you wanna say to the No, I'm they, good. They miss you. Oh yeah? Yeah, they do. Well, John, this could be my last days on Earth. Let's make it <laughs> non-photogenic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we will keep, <coughs> oh my God. We will keep you guys posted on this smoker, but. Hopefully it all turns out. It is it is a cooking. So um, let me know below if you guys, do you guys have a smoker? Have you ever smoked anything? Um, whether it's like beef brisket or ham or anything. Let me know down in the comments um, if you guys do have a smoker. It's becoming really popular right now as well too. I notice a lot of people have smokers. So we're super, super excited. And uh, we're just excited to have like our own meat as well too. Like I had mentioned about getting the pig. Very, very excited about that. All right, and another thing that I had mailed out, actually two days ago, I always mail them out, email them out on 
the first of the month and that is my keto newsletter so um, I do have a few of my subscribers that have signed out from signed up for my monthly newsletter so I do have a newsletter that I have created and it includes two new recipes that I don't share anywhere on any of my social media platforms and as well I give you a three-day meal plan to kickstart your keto journey so that you can get into ketosis by following this three-day meal plan all of the recipes, the meal plan change on a monthly basis. So that's the good thing. You always have some inspiration. If you're wondering what to make, I need something different. I need something other than bacon and eggs to get me through. This newsletter has a lot, a lot of great ideas. I have a lot of positive feedback on it and a lot of you guys are loving it that have signed up. So thank you so, so much. So I always have that link down in the description to sign up for the newsletter. If you're not ready to commit to the monthly newsletter, I also have a link that you can buy me a coffee and support the channel. You guys know YouTube is a dream of mine. So any way that I can kind of make it easier for you, buy more ingredients, make more recipes, I love to do that. So if you can support the channel, the link is in the description. I wanted to add that I have had a Facebook group for quite some time and um, it was actually previously on a weight loss journey that I was on through Weight Watchers. Finally figured out how to rename that Facebook page to Janet Greta. Well, I haven't shared that Facebook group on here very much. I have shared it before, but I also wanted to include that in my description. I know this is a lot of information that is happening in this video, but I also wanted to share that Facebook group that I have in the description here. Now, the whole thing is, is that page, it's actually a Facebook page, it is monitored only by myself. I don't have any admins monitoring it. I don't have any rules for the group. I put my trust in my subscribers to know that there is not going to be any hateful comments, no keto police, you shouldn't be doing that, you should be doing this. So I'm trusting you that it is going to be an adult only group that we can all be adults and we can all kind of manage that page together so um, make sure that you're helping one another out if you see something on there that you know didn't don't think is appropriate just make sure you tag me and let me know and i will definitely look at it as soon as i can i share my youtube videos on there so if you are on facebook i know a lot of you aren't on instagram but you are on facebook and that was another reason why i wanted to kind of get this page on the go again so that we can share our meal ideas and all of our recipes and things we've been making and all of these other recipes that we have been seeing on YouTube from my favorite YouTubers. I watch a lot of them every day and try to keep up on them, but everybody's getting such different recipes and inspiration from different YouTubers. And you know what? All of us YouTubers are so supportive of one another. It's not a competition by any means. Um, we are here to be kind to one another. That's one thing that I always stress on my channel, right? So um, just make sure that you respect one another on that Facebook page and make sure that you go and check it out and join that uh, Janet Greta Facebook page. I would love to see you there and I would love to see what you're making, sharing your meals, sharing your pictures of all of your foods that you have been eating, especially during this protein sparing modified fasting. But you guys always know I love seeing uh, the keto meals as well too. So make sure you go and share what you're eating on that page. All right, let's get started on our apple crisp. First, I diced up some chayote. I did three chayotes, but I only ended up using about two of them in this recipe. I boiled them for a while, probably about two hours. And then as you can see here, I had made that crust already if you would have watched my last video and nine by nine pan. And then I did peel all of the chayote. Um, I should have done that beforehand, but I didn't. So I took the peels off of that. I added some cream of tartar. I will have this recipe written out below so you don't have to take notes as far as um, how much I'm using and writing down what ingredients. But this was a pretty straightforward recipe. It did not take a lot of ingredients and it turned out absolutely delicious. So I also added uh, four to five tablespoons of my brown sugar swerve. So um, I'm also going to be making a little bit of a crumble on the top of this as well, but you can have this on your protein sparing modified fast days. Um, it is 100% um, approved for the protein sparing modified fast. You will just have to change your butter that I make the crumble with 
to a non-dairy butter, which I have actually bought. I didn't use it in this recipe, but I have bought and made this recipe again using that non-dairy butter, and it turned out absolutely amazing. As you've seen, I add some cinnamon as well too. You guys know I love my cinnamon. Um, I ended up using the rest of this bottle, but I did already buy another bottle from Costco. That's where I get my cinnamon because I use it for a lot of my recipes. And I also even use it on top of my coffee as well too. Very, um, a lot of benefits with cinnamon. So I realized that I needed to add just a few more tablespoons of my brown sugar swerve because it just wasn't really um, sweet enough and kind of the color that I was looking for for this recipe. So I did add a couple more tablespoons and of course I used a little bit more cinnamon and you'll see I used the rest of this um, bottle um, for this recipe. Um, just to end off the bottle. And <laughs> so um, I'm, you're gonna mix this all together now and just make sure it's really, really well combined and make sure that all of your brown sugar is kind of broken apart. I know sometimes it gets a little bit lumpy. You can use any sort of golden sugar as well. I've used um, Lakanto sugar as well, the golden kind. It works really, really well um, as well. So I added some lemon juice here and with this, I added too much lemon juice. So I have put my measurements um, in the description, which has the correct amount. But for this, I used a little bit too, too much. You will see all the liquid that's kind of at the bottom when I do assemble the apple crisp. I also used apple spice for this and just gave it probably about a teaspoon, but feel free to use your mixture, um, like your nutmeg, if you have apple pie spice as well too. You can use any of those in this recipe in lieu of the all spice that I used. So we are just gonna take our nine by nine uh, protein sparing modified fast crust that I had made. It is completely 100% cooled off at this point. And then we are just going to assemble with our chayote. Chayote? I'm sorry. I don't know how to exactly to pronounce that, but we are just going to assemble it on our nine by nine uh, pan. As you can see, it is quite liquidy. So that's why I cut down the lemon juice on my recipe for the next time that I made it. Um, but definitely I left all most of the juice actually in that pot and I left some of the chicote in the pot as well too because I just had too too much and I didn't want it to be completely overfilled on my crust. So that is it for that. And what we are going to do next is we are just gonna do a little assembly of a little crumble. So there I have some butter. Like I said, you can use non-dairy butter for your protein sparing modified fast days. And then we are just gonna add a little bit of the swerve brown sugar to that. And I also end up adding a little bit of the swerve granulated sugar as well too, just to give it some more sweetness for the topping. And then we are gonna mix up this mixture. It's just gonna be um, kind of crumbled. The butter is gonna be cold butter and I just ended up mashing it with a fork is what I did to make like the crumble mixture. So see here you would add um, some of the granulated swerve like I had mentioned. That's just to give it a little bit more sweet and I actually ended up putting a dash of salt in this mixture as well too because this overall is fairly sweet. So to cut down on the sweetness of the taste, it's always good to add like a little bit of salt as well too. And I find salt just actually brings out the flavor a little bit more, but doesn't create it as like sweet um, tasting. So, um, and there I add the Redmond's real salt. So we are just gonna give that a mixture. I did it with my fork, depending on how crumbly you want it. This turned out perfectly for me. And then I just um, ended up assembling it on my apple crisp. And then what I ended up doing is I put that in a 350 degree oven. And I left it in there for about 20 minutes. You're gonna wanna keep an eye on it just to make sure that your crust isn't getting too brown but um, you definitely want all of the flavors to mix together and for the butter crumble topping to all melt. And this was really, really good. This was the first time I've ever made anything like this, but it absolutely turned out delicious. So there I am, I'm gonna put it in the oven and let that bake for about 20 minutes. And this is it out of the oven. It turned out absolutely amazing. As you can see, my crust was um, didn't get 
burnt by any means. There is a bit of liquid that came off of that and that's why I cut down on the lemon juice as well too. So, um, but it still turned out amazing. Um, it tasted really, really good. I couldn't believe actually how this tasted like real apple crisp. Um, so definitely it is approved. Your um, chayote don't contain a lot of carbs. I actually worked out the macros for this for cutting it into six slices and over the course of the six slices the macros were absolutely perfect for a protein sparing modified fast day. I did um, total carbs for this whole entire recipe and uh, it has amazing macros. So I decided that I was just going to make a little cinnamon drizzle, sorry, a little icing drizzle for my um, apple crisp. I just added some powdered swerve to a bowl and this is what my mom used to do actually a lot of the time when we were kind of, she was running short on time and needed a quick icing recipe is she would add water to her icing sugar. So that's what I did here. And make sure that you only use a small amount of icing because a little, oh, sorry, make sure you use, that's wrong. Make sure you use a small amount of water. That's what I wanted to say for this because you don't need very much water at all. Add a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency that you want. Um, you can either make it thinner or thicker. I made mine um, kind of like in the medium. Um, I don't like mine really, really thin and I didn't want it too, too thick. So just add your little bit of water at a time. Make sure that you're stirring it um, consistently and getting all the lumps out because a little bit of water goes a long way when you make icing this way. So I did it this way as well that it could be uh, protein sparing modified fast approved because normally when I make icing like this, I will add cream cheese or heavy ripping cream or both. But um, this turns out really, really good and it just adds adds you know a little bit of flavor to the top of your apple crisp and it, it tasted so so good made it for a nice sweet dessert like I've said lately I really like to have um, a little bit of a sweet dessert after my meal on my protein spraying modified fast days all right, so I decided to have a slice with my um, supper tonight for my dessert. So I ended up just getting a syringe. I feel like it works a lot better than just using the spoon. It's totally up to you. I just wanted to kind of be extra for this to look nice for some pictures that I took, to be honest. But it turned out really, really good. Like I said, I will have the macros for this dessert on the screen in the very next clip. And the um, smoked elk and elk roast sausage and steak turned out pretty good. I think that some of the steaks were undercooked because I don't think Jimmy left them on there long enough. The one thing is, is that we do have to leave it on there for quite a long time. The roast was about a two pound roast and we left it on there. It was over two hours actually, but um, that's one thing that, you know, we'll definitely have to just get used to when we do the hams and the bacon. So we're going to be doing that in, um, a day or two for smoking that so hopefully it all turns out but thank you so much for joining me today make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video thanks for watching